Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cori Yoder of Coriander Quilts and today I'm sharing a Holly Berry trunk show. I did not know if this video was going to get filmed. I have a very funny kitty hanging in my sewing room and my husband just finally had to take him and relocate him because he was just having a regular old party up here in my sewing room. And I would start talking and start getting ready to chat with you guys and he would jump up and he's playing and frisking and and he's back. See, see, what did I tell you? Do you see him? This guy here, he just wants to hang out and play. He can't, he doesn't like it outside right now because the weather is so cold. He goes out and sniffs and then he comes back in. But because of that, he has so much energy. And I'm going to see if I can get this filmed. But this is Tiggs. He's our stray kitty that we took in and he is ready for fun. Okay. He's just attacking. I'm gonna have my husband relocate him to the basement. We're gonna try starting this off again. And he's been relocated. So now <laughs> I feel like I can share this without getting interrupted every five seconds. He's just so wound up when he can't go outside. I always compare him to a little kid who needs his recess time. And when he doesn't get recess outside, he's in here and he's just ornery and frisky and uh, he's so he's so funny. He makes us laugh a lot, but this trunk show wasn't gonna happen with him chilling out up Well, not even chilling out with him tearing around up here on my cutting table Anyhow moving on Holly Berry trunk show. I'm sharing a Holly Berry trunk show with you today a couple weeks ago I had asked for you guys to vote on if you wanted to see a Holly Berry trunk show or if you wanted to see a trunk show where I have mixed multiple lines of fabric in one quilt and the voting was close, but Holly Berry won out. Now, the deal with Holly Berry fabrics are that they are very hard to find in stores. This line came out in 2020, and by now many of the fabrics have sold out of quilt shops. So what I'm going to do over on my blog today, corianderquilts.com, is I will redo digital images of all of the quilts that I'm sharing here today over there in lines that are currently available. So you can see what these quilts would look like in other lines of fabric. And I think that's helpful to do even when the fabrics are easily available in shops, but even more so when the fabric lines are harder to find. So pop over there if any of the patterns catch your eye and you think, oh, what would that look like in, in something that I can get easily? And I'll have that up for you so you can take a peek. But let's start off with the quilt behind me. This is snowy and it is a nice big snowman block quilt. These blocks are really nice and roomy, bigger than your typical 12 inch sized block. And the fun part of them is that they really highlight the fabrics in the background of each block. And because they are so big, you can use larger scale fabrics and you're still going to be able to show those off nicely. This quilt is a fat quarter quilt. There is just a touch of applique on those noses. I think the snowman looks cute without a nose, so if applique isn't your thing, you could opt to skip his nose, or you could always um, skip the nose, have the quilt quilted, and maybe add little buttons or something like that after you get it back from your quilter. So there are a couple options that you can use if applique is not your thing, but it is simple applique. I will tell you that. I used Heat and Bond Light, which is a paper-backed fusible web, and it's one of the easiest ways to machine applique, in my opinion. So, as I always do with my trunk shows, we're gonna take this quilt down, I'm gonna show you the quilting a little bit closer, talk about the binding, show you the backing. I will tell you, the backing on my Holly Berry quilts, none of them are super Fancy. I didn't use any of the prints in the line. Rather, I opted for 108 backings on all of them. I was really pressed for time, and 108s are just a little bit faster. So I will show them to you, but um, they're just not as flashy as they sometimes are. But let me get that down and show you the quilting up close. Here is what this quilt looks like up close. As always with these trunk show videos, I will be sharing the name of the quilting design as well as my quilter information for all of my Holly Berry quilts in the description box down below. Kayleen Perry was my quilter for all of these and she did just a beautiful job. The name of this quilting design is Razzle Dazzle Down and it is sort of an asterisk design, which in my mind looks a little bit like snowflakes. So I thought this was a really fun choice. 
Here you can see also the applique a little bit more. It is a raw edge fusible applique. So after a few washes, his little nose is gonna have just a little bit of fraying around, around the edges there. The quilt, or the backing on this quilt is a Grunge 108, and the number on it is 11108101. And I will have that number listed down below as well. For my binding, I used the stripe from Hollyberry. It's the same stripe that I used in the sashing. And the background fabric is a little light gray X print, and it's also what I used for the snowmen. Now, sometimes it's nice to add a print that has just a little bit of color when you have these larger chunks of background and or piecing. That fabric worked really well from Hollyberry for this quilt, but do keep your eye out when you are looking at other fabric lines. Oftentimes there is a white background print with just a touch of color that is going to work really well for something like this. And that is the details on this quilt. Moving behind me, we have the ribbons all around quilt. This quilt is a smaller quilt, smaller blocks, and it uses a honey bun in addition to a mini charm. You do need both of those pre-cuts to make this quilt. The mini charms are used in the centers of the squares, and then you are using the honey buns for the details around that center. I'll go ahead and pull this down and talk about this one a bit more as well. Here is what ribbons all around looks like up close. You can see it's a fun holiday take on a traditional log cabin sort of block. It has the bows interspersed across the quilt top. The backing on this one is a newsprint 108 made by Basic Gray from their Compositions line of fabric. You can see I have a whole bolt of it laying over here. This is one that I reach for very often. I'll make sure and list the number down below in case you wanna snag it to use for your quilt backings. It works really well with most of my lines of fabric. The binding on this is the, I call it the candy cane stripe from this line and it just adds such a cute little touch to this quilt. And I did want to mention, I'm sure that that background fabric is not showing up on camera, but it is the same X print that you saw in the previous quilt, but this time it's the white on white. And that's another great thing to look for in a line when you're purchasing fabric is a nice white on white. Sometimes you want just that little bit of color and sometimes you want uh, not a lot of color, but maybe a little bit of extra design in your background. So another thing to keep an eye out for are those white on whites in the fabric lines. And the quilting on this one, also by Kayleen Perry, is an echoed square sort of design. And that's what this one looks like. Now, behind me, I have the Wishes quilt hanging up. This one, you're going to get to see in two different colors. We've done it with a light background, and the next one you'll see is the dark background. And it is really interesting how different changing your background from a light to a dark changes the whole look of the quilt. So definitely something, another fabric something to keep in mind when you are looking at fabric lines is, is there a nice, simple, somewhat basic, darker print within the fabric line that you could use as a background? Um, so you'll see what I'm talking about when I show the next quilt. But this is another fat quarter quilt and uh, just a real nice sort of traditional patchwork block. So let me pull this one down for you. This is what Wishes looks like up close. The quilting design on this one is sort of a circle with an orange peel, an echoing orange peel. The backing is actually another basic gray, they oftentimes have a lot of really nice 108 backings. So this is from Hits the Spot, which is some of their 108s. I did pull my color card here so that I could show you some of the 108 options that they have. All of these in this center column are available in a 108. This is the print that I used here for the back of my quilt. But you can see there are a lot of nice options um, I think that red could be really pretty on a holiday quilt, but I just wanted you guys to see those before I keep talking more about this quilt. If you have an opportunity to pick up a color card, the Moda Basics all have color cards that come with them. And it's a really great way to see 
fabrics in a fabric line just for the basics. So this would be like the Motabellas, the Grunges, um, Robins, thatched line of fabric. There are a number of different basics lines and your quilt shop is happy to order in these color cards for you if that's something you think that you could use. So we'll move this over to the side and finish talking about wishes. The binding on this is that cute little stripe, this time in the red and green. And my backing, my background fabric again is that tone on tone X print. And if you wanted to use the coordinating Motabella solid, my white on whites will match 9900-200, which is off white. That would be the Motabella solid that you could use with any of my lines of fabric. So. That's a peek at that one. And now if you look behind me, you can see what this quilt looks like with the dark background. You can see that it's quite a bit different. Um, it just has a completely different feel than it does with the light background. So I'm gonna show you, this is that same X print, but it is the dark gray with the little white X's. And I think this turned out so pretty. Which one do you like better? Are you a light background fan or a dark background fan? Or do you just kind of switch it up maybe depending on the quilt? I can go either way, but they're both very eye-catching in my opinion. So let me pull this one down and we'll take a look at the quilting. Here's the quilting on this one. We did this one with an all over feather and with the darker background, this one just looks like gingerbread to me. All of those colors with that brownishy gray background. For the backing, this is a 108 from my Lulu Lane line of fabric. This is probably going to be really hard to find, but I did pull over the color card that I showed you just a moment ago because I think this gray dot would be a really nice choice. So if your local quilt shop has some of these 108s, they're pretty versatile in the colors that are available. The binding on this quilt is that stripe, that little red and green stripe. And I just think this one is super pretty too. So that is a roundup of the Hollyberry quilts that I actually have in hand. There are two more that I no longer have. Well, one I never had. I had it here for a short time and one I gave away. So those two quilts are the Wooded Whimsy quilt. And I will share links if you wanna see more information about these quilts. Wooded Whimsy is a jelly roll quilt. And then of course I've been sharing in my works in progress videos, the, the Very Coriander Christmas quilt. And this one I will link to more information as well. So that's kind of a roundup of the Hollyberry quilts. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope you picked up some good tips in regard to looking at fabric lines, choosing backing, maybe choosing bindings. And I will catch you again next time. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving.